Hey everyone, welcome back to this particular channel and today we'll be talking about if I need to start my journey from scratch in 2025 as a data engineer, what skills should I learn, what things should I do or what roadmap should I do so that I can transit into a data engineering field or start my journey as a fresh in a data engineering field. Basically, if I give my introduction of myself, I started my journey uh, for, for about four years back in data engineering and as a fresher, so I'll, I, I think I am a good person to guide you and right now I am a certified professional, certified database data engineer. So yes, I can guide you like what are the things, what are the skills you need to learn right away so that you can become a data engineer. And in 2025, uh, like the data field has been evolving very fast. New, new technologies are coming, new new things are coming. So in 2025, there are some change in the strategy, some change in the tools that I will be telling you that you should do so that you can become a data engineer faster. So yes, effective data engineer if you want to become, see the video till the last, till the last so that you get all the points and at the last I will be giving you one bonus tip that is I will be giving you a full roadmap, a full resource so that you can follow that and you can become a data engineer right away. Okay, so let's start with the video. The very first thing that is uh, talking about uh, the things the technologies so basically if we want to start with the technologies that is you need to master SQL and Python so Python and SQL are the mandatory things that you should you should master and if we talk about the Python that is uh, Python and SQL so basically SQL is very important when you are uh, working with the data you need to see that how the data is looking like how the data is stored basically there are two types of SQL also no, no SQL database or SQL database so both you need to like have a good hands-on so that you can could crack this particular job very easily okay so that is the first step that is uh, essentials of how uh, advanced sql is working how the indexing is there how the window functions are there how the optimization is being performed so these are the major things that you work uh, as a data engineer on and basically you need to not need to learn the full thing about sql like the uh, the the security purpose the the revoke purpose the transactions so these all things are not at all required right away in the start mostly it is required uh, requirements of optimization the uh, window function how we are using it so these are the major part next thing talking about the python Py python is equally important when we are uh, working with the etl that is extract transform and transform and load so basically when we are extracting the data from the different sources transforming it uh, by using our python scripts and then loading it using the python to a data warehouse to a table to a, uh, a delta table some, somewhere to data bricks somewhere so yes that is also very important so yes how to do it basically if we uh, talk about uh, what are the concepts of python that are important so firstly that are data how to handle the data workflows next is optimization part next is auto how to automate the task and uh, work on large data sets so these are the major topics or major uh, things that are very very important next thing is uh, when we are learning uh, data warehousing that is the next step is to learn data warehouse and the cloud fundamentals that is when we talk about the cloud fundamentals in 2025 the major part that will that i have seen in 2024 and 2023 what changes are being uh, done that is majorly the people are now learning and the company demands more of cloud fundamentals that is you should be good at one of the cloud any of the cloud any of the cloud that is it can be databricks it can be aws it can be uh, what we say it can be gcp it can be azure microsoft azure any of one cloud you should be aware of and you should be having a hands on experience like if you don't have an hands on experience you can do a, a full fledged project so that you get that experience you can work on the internships so that you have an idea of the cloud basically the fundamentals of cloud and there are different services that are required so you do, do need to learn all the services in G, uh, like uh, gcp or aws or any of the cloud you just need to learn some of the specific uh, like uh, if i list some of them the major ones that is first ones any of the orchestration one and orchestration uh, service will be there so that in uh, in uh, uh, like suppose in gcp that is a cloud composer similarly a spark uh, service should be there in gcp it is a data proc in uh, there should be a data warehouse that you should be aware of that is in gcp it is bigquery so similarly these are the main topics main things that you should be aware of next thing that comes to my mind that is uh, data warehousing so data warehousing you should be uh, like good at any of the data warehouse it, it can be snowflake it can be aws redshift it can be gcp bigquery it can be anything because the concepts are more or less same just the platforms are different that's the interface is different the working principle is more or less same 99 percent same only so this is how you should be like step two that you will be completing here next is and the step is also like i am telling you about the priority like you should start with sql python then go to the fundamentals then learn about the data warehousing then go to the like etl pipeline building the pipelines 
so now you are aware of how to write a python code how to automate the task how to store the data now you should uh, be aware of building the etl pipeline like extracting the data transforming the data and loading the data before this only i have made one full fledged video of building my first data pipeline you can just follow that video you will be getting so much of insights on netflix data sets i have i have used and i have transformed everything i have loaded it i have uh, like loaded to a data table and used it and shown you everything practically on databricks so you you can do the same project and you will get a good hands on on those things that is very very important next thing is when we are working on the there are also etl tools like if we talk about if we don't need to do uh, like in many companies or many uh, scenarios there are different etl tools like talent informatica iics something like that so these are the major tools that uh, like you should learn and uh, apart from th these uh, if we talk about the uh, data processing tools that are apache airflow apache uh, spark so these are the air, uh, data processing tools and orchestration tools that are required if we if we want to automate your workflow if we want to make your workflow if we want to do large data processing so these are the things that are very very important next thing is talking about the hands on practice like suppose you have done everything you know how how to work on the cloud you know how to write the sql queries you know how to write the automated uh, task you know how to write the etl pipelines now you should make a hands on project so that you can integrate all those skills together and make a like a full fledged end to end project basically writing everything so that it will be easier for you to understand everything next thing is next step will be creating your real world projects so when you have learned the basic fundamentals whatever i'll told you have learned all everything now the uh, now now the time comes of building the projects basically real world projects build a work pro portfolio build build your github rep repository update those things on the linkedin just don't show that i have built this show the journey like on the linkedin you can tag me as well i comment on everyone's uh, this one uh, whoever tags me i just comment it or like it or just share it or repost it but you should tag the people who are working in this particular domain and are active so that you get more and more reach so you can do that also and definitely that will help that you can set up your uh, basic real world project uh, from different event from kaggle you can download the data set that uh, and i have also built many projects you can just follow out those projects and definitely more projects are here to come more tutorials are here to come that will definitely help you in all the aspects of data engineering definitely that can help you so data warehousing projects you can do you can do data pipeline projects you can do data processing projects you can do a data migration project that you can do like you there is a warehouse uh, in uh, uh, like say Uh, on premise data warehouse you can shift to cloud how to shift it those this those full process if you do a data migration project you will be very much aware and you will be very much confirmed about how the things are working in the real time environment because major of the projects are like this only in the real time environment or some of the complexities will come but these are the major things that will be there next is next step will be fifth step that will be gaining the data security and compliance like now you have covered everything now the aspect of the aspect of or the think come that is how a data security is maintained suppose you have built the data pipeline how the data security can be maintained in this how the compliance can be maintained in this so data security basics you can just learn like these are very very optional things after you have done everything data security data regulations you can do then after after that you need to prepare for a data interviews data interviews are very much uh, like if you learn everything practically uh, like theoretically there are many scenario based question that will be there in a data a data engineering interviews because i also take interviews in for my company so basically i ask very much scenario based questions very much your resume based question so definitely you should write good projects in your resume that you are confirmed about so th those are the things and apart from this i'll show you a full road map that you can follow a full video i'll just list it down in the uh, description and uh, you can just list from there from there only th that is a full uh, road map uh, video i have just created uh, like some few months back that will definitely help you to prepare for data engineering uh, uh, if you want to prepare become a data engineer in 5 months that uh, that road map is definitely going to help you so i'll just show you on the screen so as you can see on the screen there is the video basically and i just posted last month and basically in this particular video when you will search be a programmer data engineer road map you will get this on the youtube directly or i'll just pin it in the in the description you can just pick it from there like here i have just uh, like given everything about the data engineering and in this description only in 150 days you can just prepare for it like data data engineer uh, like uh, role if you are not aware of anything i have made this proper guide for everyone that is like from full fledged from zero you can become a data engineer in just 5 months and i have like 
please take your time give the months like i have uh, given here also like python will take about approx 2 months say sql will take 1.5 months uh, many people who are uh, seeing this particular video and want to become a data engineer might be aware of these two technologies like first two basics of python and sql so that is enough and you can start with understanding big data and data visualization and, and when you are doing projects you will revise those thing that is python sql uh, pandas spark these all things definitely those these are going to help and in this only there are sub topics there are practice questions also that i have just included definitely this road map will help you to become a data engineer in 5 months 100% so this is the things that you can do and uh, this is the big data things that is apache spark videos are there apache what are required in the interviews what are required to understand the big data those all things that i have included in the here like topic by topic 10 topics that you if you will run it definitely in the data engineer interview these all things can be asked so de definitely this will be helpful next is cloud a cloud technology that i have added here that is aws have added you can also learn any of the cloud that is gcp or a like uh, azure any of the cloud that will help next is a project i have also included some of the project that will definitely help you that is there there is a pyspark my playlist also and definitely i'll make more more project that is also there apart from there there are five projects in this playlist also that also you can use and there are job search platform after completing these all things there are job search uh, platform that is you can just see my those these two to uh, playlist and definitely there are that, that that those are trial test and methods of nokri in linkedin that i have used definitely you can also use and take your first step because previously i was working in a, in a service based company now i am working as a remote data engineer okay so things got changed what things i did how you can do what you can follow so those all things i already have made up videos on it and many people have got benefited you can also take this sort of advantages and apart from this if you have any more doubts after this there you can connect me personally like if you want a one on one session or something like that you can connect me on my instagram or you can just book a io like top meet i have top meet session from here and we can talk on a video call or something like that on a like mock interview if you want to give if you want to get reviewed resume these all things are there on this one. you can just do it from here apart from that this was all about the video and this video link i'll be giving you in that video only you will be getting all those road map everything i have explained in this particular video so this was all about a video thank you so much for watching this particular video and these were the major skills that you should learn as a data engineer becoming a data engineer because in 2017 2020 it was a bit different technologies keeps on coming the uh, technologies keeps on changing you should integrate those technologies in your skills so that you are up to date with the trends that are going inside the market this is also a lot about the video thank you so much for watching, watching this particular video on this particular channel i'll post more videos on data engineering on data domain definitely you should follow this particular channel and subscribe it and please give a comment if you have any doubts or anything just give a comment it will help me to uh, get get to more and more people reach to more and more people other than that i have a blog channel that from that where i upload many videos related to my personal life to my life how how are the things going these all things definitely those are the very interesting videos apart from that there is a Instagram account where about 100k people are there 1 lakh log wahan pe hone wale hain and definitely wahan pe kafi maza aa raha hai kafi logo se main main wahan pe share karta hu apne experiences about data domain about data the full account is on the data the the full account is on my profile that full account is all about uh, how you can crack the interviews how what are the resources you should follow my own resources my own notes i am sharing there i go live i there is a community that that we talk uh, that, that we talk on so definitely if you want to talk on there also you can just join in there तो दोस्तों अगर वीडियो मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में जय हिंद वंदे मातरम बाय